Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be just talking all about tips to get your hamster to chew on their chew toys and kind of also just about hamsters and chew toys. So I hope you guys are excited. Make sure you sit down, grab a snack, maybe grab a notebook if you're looking to get a hamster and you want to take some notes. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I just have to mention this at the beginning of today's video. And that is the fact that Toast is just like over here. I think so cute like let me show you guys oh my look God. at his little tail he's too precious he's right there i don't know if you can see but this is my leopard gecko toast we love him today's video is about my hamster moose though and he is right over here so let's get into today's video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already like and comment about, about like three or four tips or tricks to get your hamster to chew on their chew toys so before we get into that i do want to preface this video by saying that a lot of hamsters have different preferences in chew toys and you kind of just have to feel it out with your like personal hamster some hamsters will prefer bigger chew toys versus smaller and vice versa along with that some hamsters prefer different materials for their chew toys so generally you'll think of wood chew toys but there's also loofah chew toys willow chew toys and like an array of other types another really good chew toy is whimsy dog chews those are dog chews meant for dogs but they are usually vegetarian and plant-based and even still hamsters are omnivores meaning they can have certain types of meats and things like that so it's actually completely safe to pick up like a couple cents like they're usually a couple cent at like the checkout at PetSmart and places like that you can pick up like a alligator whimsy chew or a toothbrush whimsy chew and this is an edible chew toy but it really does help encourage a lot of hamsters to chew and most hamsters love these things and will devour them however whimsy chews need to be offered like once a month because it should take your hamster a while to finish it and since they are ingesting it all you don't want to be giving it to them all the but time but that is one really good tip so tip number one whimsy chew it's an edible chew but it will really help them to get into chewing and my second tip and the tip that works best for me and moose is taking a so chew put toy it in a seed mix or a treat mix that your hamster loves and you can roll it around in the uh, seed mix and you can do this and leave it in here for hours days however much you want to but really if you just do it once and you get it completely like covered in the smells of their seed mix then this will smell like what they like to eat and then inherently they usually will chew this if you're having issues with chewing. The second tip that I will offer you guys today is taking a chew toy and taking a little bit of some, not sunflower, peanut butter. I am allergic, but you could take some peanut butter, smear it onto a portion of the chew toy. This is a little rose chew toy. Basically, you and just take some peanut butter, smear it onto the wooden or whatever chew, usually wooden, like a wooden block, and then you take the peanut butter right back back off but the peanut butter residue is still there and hamsters will go crazy for that just remember peanut butter things like that yogurt drops those are high in sugar so this should be offered in limited amounts to keep their sugar levels down because they can get diabetic from too much sugar another really good option that you can either make or do so if you have a willow ball like this or if you can make your own um chew toy basically out of toilet paper rolls which i have a video on my shorts so go check that out but basically you just cut up toilet paper and make it into like a little diy ball treat thing you can stuff that or willow balls with their seed mix or seeds as treats and that's another way to get them chewing on this to get to the thing that they want on the inside because they're very food motivated so this is another way you can get your hamster chewing as i have mentioned before you do want to if none of this is working, you also really want to try just all like the different types of chews that you can find on the market. So like try all the different sizes and types. Like here's a thinner wooden chew. It's a unicorn. It's by I think Tiny Tails at PetSmart, but it's just safe and it's fine and it's good. And then the last tip that I'm going to offer today is peanuts and walnuts i do not have any walnuts on me right now i'm waiting for christmas because a lot of times at like fresh time and like trader joe's and places like that they have a lot of really good walnuts like on sale in bulk because i think people like to roast them for christmas or something but right now i can't find any so 
walnuts during Christmas for me, but walnuts and peanuts you can use as a really good boredom breaker, but it can also double as a way to get your hamster chewing on things because they have to chew through the hard shell. This is my container of treats, but there are peanuts in there as you can see. Um, but basically they have to chew through the shell to get to the treat on the inside, so it's a boredom breaker that doubles as a way to get them chewing. Especially walnuts are even thicker shells than peanuts, and those are really good because they have to really work for them. A lot of smaller hamsters, such as like Chinese dwarf hamsters and all the other dwarf hamsters, um, they have a harder time getting through tough walnuts, so peanuts are a little bit better, but you can still try walnuts with your smaller hamsters. It's just not guaranteed that they'll have the motivation to chew all the way through, but Syrian hamsters will love the challenge, and they are just bigger, so it's easier for them to haul that big walnut around, and it is completely safe to feed your hamster peanuts and walnuts as a treat on occasion for both stimulation mentally and teeth stimulation. So to finish today's video off, I do just want to explain really quick for anyone unaware the reason hamsters need chew toys in their enclosure at all times and a variety of different chew toys at all times is so that they can continue to wear down their teeth that are always growing. Um, there has been more studies recently that point to the fact that they don't need chew toys because naturally they do grind their own teeth like kind of we do on accident, just like this. like. Um, naturally because in the wild they wouldn't have chew toys but at the same time there is equivalent research that says in the wild they would be working a lot harder for food and doing a lot more of the walnuts and shells and things like that in the wild to get to their basic necessity for food therefore it's really important to stimulate them with chew toys that stimulate that behavior and obviously give them walnuts and peanuts as a treat to get them used to like getting things out of shells so really at this point in my opinion as i have owned hamsters for many years now is that you definitely need chew toys for enrichment and somewhat for some hamsters to keep their teeth whittled down. However, a lot of hamsters don't actually need it to keep their teeth from overgrowing. It's more just for enrichment and it's good for their enamel health and things like that. So in the, at the end of the day, you do need a variety of different chew toys for the well-being of your hamster and there's no debate about that. And I also want to say that mineral chews and stone chews and things like that are a big red flag, a big no on my part, because think about yourself. Would you like to chew on a stone? No, that would crack a tooth. That wouldn't feel good. So steer away from those and salt licks. They do not need added minerals and salts if they're having a completely balanced diet, which they should be. And you should research a lot about their nutrition and stuff and not need those weird added colored blocks that hurt their teeth and stuff so stick to safe materials such as wood and willow and things like that and seagrass so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope it was informal and interesting at the same time and i'll see you guys next week bye guys yeah.